But it was, they were very precious about the house. What I didn't realize was that there's a strict no dogs policy. And then I was going to work one morning and there's a little dog, it's minus, it's below zero. And I thought, oh, what, can it, what harm can it do? And I let it in the house when I came back um, from work. It was like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs>
Barbie. Yeah. Which, right. Which, of course. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Which never underestimate Barbie. I'm a huge fan of yours, so and such I'm a, an honor. I'm a fan too. of yours now, too, so oh. we'll, see, we'll see you down the road. Chris admits that you don't want to get in a bar fight with Anna with how much she had to prepare for the role as well. Bond movie. I'm going to tell you right now, don't mess with Anna. I've seen Anna. It does not surprise I, me in I, the I, least. I've no, seen Anna never. do. I've seen Anna do too many moves now. And look, Anna's great at what she does. She's phenomenal at what she does. Uh, but we did another movie, not this film. Uh, but but she was unbelievably prepared for it and you'd watch her throw these punches and kicks and you think oh my god and filming for this movie took many months of planning of props and set design so everything on screen like anna said took more time to shoot and train for than the time it took to watch it on screen The cast has such a closeness with each other though, especially with Anna and Chris, as they had previously worked together in the film Knives Out. Funny enough, Chris Evans was originally considered for the lead role and declined it to play the villain. It sounds like he likes exploring his opportunities with playing various different characters. In the film, there's a moment where Chris's character, Lloyd Hansen, refers to Ryan Gosling's character, Six, as a Ken doll, which they obviously did on purpose to poke fun and secretly promote the next film he will star in, Barbie. You insultingly call Ryan Gosling's character a Ken doll. I do. But like now he really did play Ken. Look, see? So Lloyd knows what's up. He can yeah. see into the future, he knows. How does it feel now knowing you, you beat up Ken? Right, well, <laughs> we beat each other up. You sure. know, I feel like it's kind of an even match. The idea is to create a franchise and build out a whole universe, with Ryan at the center of it. Grey Man is a spy film. For fans of The Winter Soldier, The Grey Man is similar in a sense that we're trying to embed it in a very modern, current environment that we're facing in a global level in terms of spy networks and the CIA. According to Deadline, the script by Joe Russo was recently polished by Avengers Endgame writers Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely. A previous report also revealed that the movie will be Netflix's biggest film budget to date. And for our trivia question, Dead Man's Bones is the name of the band that Zach Shields and Ryan Gosling is in from the start of 2007 to now. The inspiration for this team came from their obsession with ghosts and the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. Mașinile din filmare. <laughs> so what do you guys think of all this? Are you interested in seeing this upcoming film? Is this the kind of film that catches your attention? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye.